Well, this is the moment that we've all been waiting for, especially the children here at Carpinteria Boys and Girls Club. The construction of their brand new playground is finally finished and TVSB is here for the reveal. Let's take a look. After a year of fundraising, the Boys and Girls Club of Carpinteria has a playground to be proud of. With over 50,000 alumni since 1952, and as an organization that prides itself in enabling all youth to reach their full potential, the new playground is an example of how the support of the community comes with ease. This has been um, a long time coming. We had to remove our play structure a little over a year ago. Um, because it was becoming a safety hazard, it was wooden. So since then, our kids haven't had really a release back here. Our licensed childcare is separate from the rest of our club, so they really only have this backspace to play. Once we got the initial funding, it um, kind of took a little bit longer to get the rest of the funding. So it's just so exciting that after a year and a half of waiting, we have something and the kids are so excited. When they finally got to see the playground, working here, it's like a proud mama moment. They were just so excited and so happy. So I took some of the older kids who were on our drop-in side and brought them over here. And the first thing that they said was, it's not broken. <laughs> we had a playground that was back here and you know it was great for the kids to get that outside play, um, but it was old and it was time for something new. Playground itself gives the children an opportunity to actually get outside the other one we had before was actually quite worn out, so it was due for a new change makeover. And it gives the children a lot of opportunity to play outside. More activities, uh, I think, is better for everybody, especially them. Burns off a lot of energy. It keeps them well-rounded and it helps our teachers out because our kids need to get their wiggles out. They need to run and play. The club has chosen a few select kids to be the first to play on the structure as a reward for good behavior. We've kind of had it like roped off so the kids couldn't touch it because we really wanted to pick the kids, you know, that have proven their behavior level is awesome or they've had a change. We've seen an attitude difference or, you know, they're really participating in certain programs. So we want to reward them. And those were the kids that you got to see today, Lily and Mauricio. We wanted to reward Lily because we see a total change um, from last year to this year. And we wanted to reward Mauricio for just kind of falling in place. Like he made all the friends and you know, he does any type of program we have, he's signing up for it. Even if they're conflicting, <laughs> like they're at the same time, he's gonna be at both. <laughs> we focus on many things. We focus on character. We focus on education. We focus on future career even. Our mission statements talks about giving the opportunity to kids, all kids, especially those who are in need, to have a safe place to play and study and learn and share and grow up. So the playground is just a part of that big picture of providing that kind of environment. We got a generous donation through the um, Thompson Foundation. We got about half of it and then it was up to us to raise the other half. So that came through our annual auction, that's every May. So we got that through our bids for kids. And then our um, local foundation, the Carpentry Boys and Girls Club Foundation also kicked in to help us get it finalized. We asked and we didn't really have to beg um, for the money to get that done. The community knew that it's something that we needed and it's something that our kids deserved. So they really backed us and they were really you know, nice enough to yeah, of course we'll help you, of course we'll give you the money. With the playground specifically, we're really hoping that it'll kind of help our children, teach them interactive skills and, um, you know, dramatic plays just so important to kids nowadays. And with recesses being cut from school and physical education programs, you know, that's something that we're able to offer in an after school program. Um, so our hope is that, you know, now that we have a playground here, that we can invite more community members in and their kids and, and have them really utilize our facilities. <laughs> Boys and girls clubs are life changers. They really are. There are many places where you can work, but there are few places that you can work where you know that what you do on a daily basis is gonna impact a child really 
for the rest of their life in a positive way. And that's what makes this such a wonderful place to be for me, but also such a wonderful place for the community around us because they know that there is a safe, wonderful place where their kids can go and actually learn the things they're going to need in life to be amazing adults. Carpinteria Boys and Girls Club has been an icon in Carpinteria for a long time. And for us to support this actually supports our future generations. And that is one thing that I see a huge benefit, um, that this has a huge niche within the community in developing our next generation of leaders, leaders in the community. And that's why I enjoy it. Thank you everybody for the support and, and it's so exciting. The kids are ecstatic to be playing on it for the first time tonight and, and I'm glad that you guys are here to see it. Uh, I see. Do we have time? Yeah. Okay.